Real estate is a $483 billion market in the U.S. alone. With banks still slow to lend, it is a market ripe for innovation. One major venture capital firm getting behind startups in this area is Menlo Ventures. Mark Siegel is here, managing director. Mark, great to see you this far east. So Thanks you have me. made some pretty big investments. Realty shares is one company of note saying, listen, the whole landscape is changing. Tech and Wall Street are essentially meeting each other head on, and this is one way that you intend to profit. Yeah, that's right. So Realty Shares is a company that allows essentially peer-to-peer -peer lending between consumers and real estate investors or real estate developers. So a lot of commercial properties, sometimes multi-unit residential properties, but uh, gives consumers a way to invest directly in real estate that they never had before. So Mark, when you grilled the founders, because I know you did, you have to, that's your job, what did they tell you about risk, how they're going to manage risk? Because as much as it's fun to beat up on the banks, they do hold the risk for lending money, which is why they have become slower to lend. Right. Well, Realty Shares does almost the same kind of thing that a bank would do. They vet each one of these projects. They look at, for instance, the loan to value. Most of these are revenue producing properties. So they use essentially the same analytics that a bank would use, but they can pool together lots of individual investors. And in fact, there hasn't been a single default yet on Realty Shares. So it's early days, though. It's early days. It is early days, but we don't think that the risk is any higher. It does seem as if more and more people, and we talk about this at a macro level, where rates are so low, it's hard for individual investors to really make money. They certainly can if they put it just in bonds. So more people are looking for more tools with which to invest, and most people do know at least a little bit about investing in real estate. Absolutely. I think that this is the kind of thing that you might use a REIT uh, to, to accomplish, but of course you don't get to choose the portfolio that's within the REIT and you pay a pretty hefty fee for doing that. So this is a, a new type of real estate investment that gives investors a chance to get return and a little diversification from other sectors they might invest in. So in many ways, this proves pretty much what we heard from Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, when he essentially, I'm going to paraphrase, said, look out Wall Street, look out banking industry because Silicon Valley is coming for us. I know you have invested invested in Betterment, which is a kind of robo-advisor. The last time I heard robo-anything, I was pretty anxious. But in this case, it seems to take the emotion, and by that I mean the bad emotion, out of investing for average people. It's you kind of set your goals and you leave it alone and you don't think you're a hotshot trader. Absolutely. So in Betterment's case, they're providing wealth management services to the masses, to a group of people who normally wouldn't go to a wealth management advisor. And the truth is that the algorithmic trading that's behind Betterment is actually better than the vast majority of wealth managers. Most wealth managers don't really have any proprietary information. And so it's the diversification across a portfolio that, uh, that really helps investors achieve returns. And I know that a traditional and somewhat dusty facility uh, Fidelity has actually taken note and partnered with Betterment because even Fidelity realizes this is probably the way to get new clients. Yeah, I think this is all part of a, just a huge shift that's going on where technology is essentially going to replace very traditional financial services across the spectrum. What else are you seeing, Mark, as if that weren't enough? This is what you've been working on. Sort of we hear about it after you've been working on these investments. What are you considering? that you think will be game-changing, let's say, in the next year and a half? Well, we think there's a lot of opportunity in other financial service sectors. So, for instance, insurance is a sector that really hasn't been. There's, of course, you can shop online for insurance, but, um, but the way it's bought and sold hasn't changed very much. We still think uh, mobile is a very interesting area, both for payments. Um, we just sold a company recently called Check to Intuit that was a mobile bill pay company, and, uh, and there's still a lot of innovation in that area. Mark, thanks so much for coming in. It's great to see you. Mark Siegel joining me there, Menlo Ventures Managing Director.